What is going on, V Nation? I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Here with another video and talking about how I'm saving money and how I'm becoming also less tied to materialistic things. And you guys may have heard, money can't buy you happiness. <laughs> I want to add to that that happiness comes from within and oftentimes what in the past I used to look externally to myself to try to find happiness whether that was buying you know lots of clothes or you know fast food junk food whatever it was but I'd always try to look externally to make myself feel good. And I've come to realize over the years that happiness is within. And I hope this video will inspire you to find happiness within yourself. Uh, there's so much going on externally to us in, in this world and it's fun we can play with lots of different toys but at the end of the day it's it's are you really happy and i've come to realize that less is more and the less stuff i have less stress and overall happiness i feel from within so the first way that i am saving lots of money and that's also really good for my health, so it's a win-win, is I bike everywhere. And I just love biking. And you guys know I'm up here in Canada and it's really cold, <laughs> but I still get out on my bike and I enjoy it. I get the fresh oxygen going through my body and I'm saving tons of money because I don't have to pay for parking. Uh, you know, parking's going up. I don't um, have to pay for gas, right? So we know with the burning of fossil fuels, what that is doing to our our planet, right? It's I think the number transportation is the number one contributor to the CO2 emissions, right? So I try to bike as much as I can get out there and it's also really good for my health because I'm getting in exercise and like I said, oxygen. So really, really good and I feel, I feel amazing. So that I'm saving lots of money. I don't have to use a vehicle as much and uh, use gasoline and it's a win-win. The second way I'm saving lots of money is you guys have already maybe watched my other video about how I don't have a cell phone plan. So I have an actual cell phone with an app that has free texts and calls as long as I have Wi-Fi or you know internet. So at home I already have home internet and I just run my cell phone off of that and that app allows me to have free texts and phone calls and, uh, and then I just use free Wi-Fi at coffee shops or wherever else they have free Wi-Fi. So saving lots of money that way. Um, I've saved about $3,000, which I can put towards other things. So huge savings that way. And I, um, you know, I did, all of these things, like, you know, you have to kind of look at your own life and see what works for you, depending on your situation and what your needs are. And that's what I want to get into is what I focus on is really buying what I need as opposed to what I want. And there's so many things in the past that I, bought with my money that I didn't need and it wasn't really healthy for me or the planet such as so much clothes and plastic bottles you know so now I drink <laughs> out of glass jars um, I bring if I go get a tea I bring my own containers uh, and I just focus on buying foods that are gonna bring me health and not dis-ease <laughs> So I look at buying lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, foods that are going to heal me and hydrate me. This is coconut water. And, uh, and less on stuff that's not going to give me health. So I'm saving lots of money that way. Now, 
For those of you that don't know, I live in a small house. It's about 600 square feet. So uh, it's, it's not the smallest that I've seen out there, but it's not a tiny house, but it's a uh, it's perfect size for me. And I'm saving a lot of money because it's less to heat it. So less bills and less to clean. And I don't, I can't put too much stuff, too much furniture in this house. So I really can only have, again, just a certain amount of furniture and, and, and <laughs> even, you know, plates and cutlery. I have everything uh, that I personally need and it's not too much stuff. So uh, again, less to clean, which means I have more time to do other creative endeavors. So saving lots of that way. And I really don't need much space, right? You guys see that I'm just <laughs> utilizing any little space I can when I do my videos uh, just to get a message out there for you guys. So living in a small house uh, equals less stuff, which is less stress, less to clean. And I want to get into even some of the house products and, and cleaning um, products that I use, which are saving me lots of money. So I'm very conscious of the cleaning products out there. A lot of them have chemicals in, in the products. They don't even list the ingredients. So I don't know what is in a lot of these cleaning products and whatever we're using, we can breathe in. So, um, and as well as I have cats, right? So I don't I have to be really aware of what I'm using for them as well. So what I do use for my floor, I make my own, which consists of water, vinegar, and tea tree oil. That's what I use to clean the floor. Tea tree oil is antibacterial, and, uh, and that's working really well for me, keeping it nice and clean. And it's, uh, it's just uh, less chemicals, right? So better for the environment and better for my health as well. And vinegar is super cheap, but it does the job. It cleans really well. But you, again, you may want to look into what uh, products that you can use on your floor before, you know, trying out these things. So uh, other things that I do, um, so I have a bamboo. Um, <laughs> I, have, I have bamboo in my laundry room and that is so I can hang my clothes to dry. Uh, and there's just certain clothes that I can't put in the dryer because they'll shrink. So I'm saving lots of money that way as well. But for some clothes I do put in the dryer, I use tennis balls um, to take out the static. And you can also, I've seen people use a ball of aluminum foil, which takes out the static. So you don't, you need, you don't need to use any uh, lint. What uh, I also do, when I go shopping is I use tote bags and these baskets so that I don't have to use plastic bags because a lot of the plastic is ending up in our rivers and the ocean so that's not good and these tote bags can carry a lot so they are awesome what I also look at is I also look at buying experiences as opposed to things right so what I look at is uh, putting my money towards experiences with people, maybe enjoying a great meal, uh, you know, traveling, right, with my bike, <laughs> wherever I can go. Um, I just like putting my money towards experiences. I find that is more valuable. It's uh, something that you'll never forget as well. A lot of the materialistic things out in this external world you know, they're toys, they're fun, um, but it's not like, you know, once you play, it's like a kid, once you play with a toy, you play with it for a while and then you're done with it, you're on to the next thing. But it's the memories, the experiences that you have that are going to last a lifetime. You'll never forget your experiences. So that's what I look at putting my money towards. and. Um, for me, what I do also is I put my money towards quality as well, quality products. So, uh, you know, if we look at a Vitamix blender, very expensive, but it's lasted me 
years. I've had my Vitamix blender for, gosh, I think it's been over at least five years. And it's, it's one of the best investments as well as gosh i could i could i could make this video a long one because i could go over all the products that i've invested in um that are just quality versus uh just cheap but that don't last a long time so when i make a purchase i make sure that it is quality and that's going to last me a long time so i don't have to keep buying stuff um, so that's uh one of the best investments um that i've made and what else i'm trying to think of other stuff here but what I really wanted to mention is that uh, I've tried to focus less on myself and just more on how can I help, how can I make this planet a little bit better? <laughs> how can I help the environment? How can I help clean up the environment? And, uh, you know, what we're seeing now uh, with, you just see that the water is becoming more acidic uh, and so it's it's one of those things where we have to all kind of do our part in any way that we can right um, so for me i'm looking more and more into how can i make things better for the planet what can i do that can help it in any way does that mean buying less plastic coffee cups or whatever right drinking more out of glass jars, um, having your own mug, uh, whatever way it is for you. Um, but it's really about uh, us all coming together and think about it. I've talked to some people where they say, well, it won't make a difference, right? What I do is not going to make a difference, but it's all really in the attitude. And if one person does a little bit, think of how the trickle effect, the wave that can that can create a huge, massive change. Uh, and if we all, if every person thought that way that we couldn't make a difference, then we're not gonna see any changes. But if each one of us makes changes in some way, whether that's using less plastic bags, we're gonna notice the ocean getting a lot cleaner, uh, less plastics in the animals too, right? I took a, a, a boat ride on the ocean, and we were just picking up plastic left and right we were finding they're finding plastic in the sea turtles and whales dolphins and it just broke my heart so it's like what can i do to reduce my impact to to create a, a less foot, big footprint on this planet uh so any way that you can uh is gonna make huge differences don't ever think that you're not gonna make a difference in this world just by doing a little whether it's just a small thing, um, it really creates huge waves, especially if we all do a little something. So thanks so much for watching this video. I've saved so much money. Uh, also just feels good to help my own health and help the planet too. It's a nice win-win situation. And, um, and we're just going to keep going. We're just going <laughs> to keep, I'm just, I, I want to keep doing these videos on what else can I do? What else can I learn? Uh, there's always more that I can, I can always become better at something in some way. Um, so remember that happiness comes from within and it's not from outside materialistic things. That's not long lasting happiness. So just do what makes you happy. Spend some time with yourself figuring out what really truly makes you happy. And how can you make a difference on this planet to help everyone? When we all do that, <laughs> any little way you can, we'll all be 